Residents here in Manville are devastated after losing their homes and many of their belongings, but they said they are coming together as a community to restore all of the things that they've lost. Just heart aching, um, not knowing which direction to go. We've got so much ground to cover. Daniel and Lacey Christman still can't believe everything they've lost during Saturday's storm. Kind of mad you lose your stuff and then you go a mile down the road and see what your neighbors lost and there's even neighbors that have perished. The couple says they were inside their garage when a wave of water pushed through their yard. I screamed, go get the kids. They were upstairs and I get the kids out. That's everything else can be replaced. The two spent today trying to restore what was swept away in the flood. Lacey says she found parts of their home and belongings miles away from where they live, including their propane tank. She also found pictures and IDs from her neighbors. We're trying to gather all that uh, to hopefully locate the people it belongs to. Which will take much longer than usual. Lacey says they are still without power and the bridges in Manville are completely destroyed. The couple says they have a long way to go until everything is back to normal, but with the help of their neighbors, they are confident they will be able to rebuild. It's uh, still a disaster, but uh, things could always be worse, even though they could be better and they will get better. But mm -hmm. Residents say that cleanup efforts will continue for some time. In Manville, Alexis Jones, WHS 11, on your side.